Billy Man Carap. All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So, this whole thing with Laba Laba and Beanie Man will not go away. Matter of fact, everything that Laba Laba said in that video, all it has done is stirred the ants' nest, right? And has resurrected what was already out there. So, for a lot of people who think this is all brand new, this isn't brand new. Everything that's being said about Beanie Man concerning the death of Mr. Bogle. Misawaki, the great dancer, is something that is always out there and being talked. We're going to talk about that today. We're also going to give our take on the recent on-stage interview with, with Mr. Winford Williams and Beanie Man. What? Baba, you behind me, kill for him. Wow. Sit down, Palmer, so they murder for him. So I don't shovel it. I mean, I mean, murder your blood clot. You try to read me, you know. I said, Matt Money is up on the hands of the road, you know. You try it, you know. Billy Man said, he said, well, lava, lava. Do we can come down near me, you know. The boy said, the boy said, hey, lava. Me murder your blood clot, you know. You start balling. You can't give me that quick, you woman. You can't give me that quick, you blood clot, you woman. I put my papa from this one and tell about what happened. If you find a gun for them, you hear you wow, you know. It's an independent charge. I'm not a child, you just get me a pipe, you know. And send me home, you know. You know, after you that for after everything come back and things cool off, you know. I'm trying to make sure I'm respect now. You may inform us, you know. I forgot you. Alright, so after Lava Lava did this recording and it was released to social media it pretty much went viral right and it became a big talk but of course you know a lot of people have dispelled or put down what laba laba has said based on them saying that oh he's old or he's senile or according to Beanman, on his on stage interview him not pay no attention to them man them my lord come man like laba laba them them dash for them life, right? Them run from boss to boss. Them pretty much he was just saying that is a waste man that don't really have any credibility because he hasn't lived his life up to standards and up to par and he's probably just bitter, which is one of the claims as well that he's bitter. Laba clearly said in the video, say be the man mash up him career. So he's carrying feelings then. Yeah, so I rap them in Clark, Chris Royal. I said, Chris Royal, you know, the boy is over this thing. It's an important thing, huh? Yeah, me? And the skin team doing, yeah? Come in, blood start crossing, so come come on to my house, start against them, and watch up my party. Where are you, though? I said, well, what do you think you're saying, Chris Royal? I said, sit, sit, sit down, Judy, come to me. And me fix him for you. I'm, I'm being on the side of the Judy. Go send three bikes, man, come fix him. Alright, so what the big stir is about is exactly what you heard Lava Lava said there just now. And what he basically said was that Beanie Man actually paid Chris Royal $100,000, right? Just for the fun of it, send 100 G, come give me. And him sent 100 G, and then Chris Royal sent some bike man, come fix it. If you know anything about how Bogle uh, passed, it had to do with some man pull up on some bike, and he was at a gas station, shots fired, man dead. Like that, right? Now, the thing about it is watching that interview, because th this must be the ghost that haunts Beanie Man's career. This is what they must call it. Bogle Spirit will not let this live down for some reason. I don't know. It will just, n it will not go away. It will not go away. Watching Beanie Man do the interview on, on stage where he brushed off the whole... Beanie Man actually said it was actually a ploy to sabotage his upcoming show, right? Which, by the way, went on to be very successful. But I was thinking it was a bit more than that, but then again, who knows? In the interview, though, Beanie Man said he has not watched the video, meaning that entire video. If you all seen the video, the video was long. I'm using clips of it. But being said on, on stage to Mr. Winfrey Williams, he hasn't watched that video. And a lot of people are beating him about it and I say, 
No man, big big man like you, big star like you, and people are talking them things that serious accusations like that, and you haven't cocked your ear to it. You haven't actually sat down and watched for you hear what this man has said about you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think being a man is trying to run away from this or trying to ignore it. I have a theory on that though. Alright? And I'm gonna say it in a minute, but hear a little bit more of what Lava Officer right now. The boy I fix him. The boy, I, I got a report back now. Oversee you. No, yeah. And and then just knock him off back. Be man bury him. Yeah. Bury the killer, yeah. Bury the killer. Yeah, so That's be, how it's straight go. Yeah, so be man put up two million for us and I see that shit, yeah. Two million dollars for the killer. I take the first two million dollars and buy a car. Who take it? Ice. No, no, the first, the first million. Yeah. Ice take it. The dan who that? Ice. Ice. Dance. Yeah. So I so I make so, sure. So I think about now for two more, two for the next two million. We we up there still, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm being man. Call them a blood clot here. I'm you kill Bogle. All right. So one time gone, I would have not believed at all that Beanie hasn't seen that video. I had no interest in seeing it but having gone through some things myself with people you know people carry your name go and carry come back and talk all kind of things about you that don't go so people that don't even know you and then for instance subscribers to SoFlow TV send me material all the time yo SoFlow look on the video here they call up your name yo look on the next one and man this you wicked and I'm gonna answer him back and honestly I have not watched those videos and I don't watch them for a reason so me being someone that have actually done that I can see on a bigger level how being a man probably hasn't paid any attention to it like hasn't watched it of course people around you are going to tell you so you know bits and pieces of what was said but to say him sit down and study the video and watch it then I don't know if he says to Winford Williams that him not watch the video then I can take his word for it that he probably did not watch it. And one of the reasons why Beanie probably don't watch it is because he don't want that thing that's seeping in him spirit. Because he might watch it, get angry, and then I forgot to call up Laba Laba somewhere. And next thing you know, oh, Beanie man is arrested for so and so, or send two manga and it come back to him. So, in order to save yourself from letting that seep into your spirit, he probably does say, eh. The man they attacked, them are dragged my name through the mud a long time. With that said though, Beanie said some very interesting stuff during that interview, which I am going to cover next. But again, hear a little bit more of what Laba Laba was saying in that infamous video that went viral. See it here. Listen carefully. <laughs> Mother, all the nine eyes. Bogo man, all the step I'll give him to put up here by the wall. Wow. Yeah, come back in the morning. Yeah. Wow. Now, these are interesting things that Laba Laba is saying. Like the fact that he's saying that Beanie Man sent a portion of money to give Bogo Mother, and Bogo Mother sent it back to Beanie Man and tell Beanie Man where to shove it. Now, <laughs> these stories. People are saying how oh, Laba know all this. People must remember say Laba Laba was around these people all them time there and very close. Even be the man can attest that Laba was at the dance the night all that went down. So somebody linked me yesterday, you know who you are, me not say your name or nothing, but he said so flow. You must remember saying you know, be the man was surrounded by some big time heavy politician at the time we did a par closely with so he could not police couldn't even think of asking being any questions at them time there right and if you watch the onstage interview with Winfred Williams Beanie Man also said that he was not even questioned much less now if you think of the course of events that went down why was he not questioned he was closely associated with the whole incident so why was he not questioned just to be ruled out as a suspect or involved in any kind of way but anyway here we are. This is the thing that I found interesting in the video. Although Bini said he did not watch the video, what he did say was, I heard him here say, Laba Laba call up not only his name, but a whole heap of other man name him call up in the video. And if you watch the video, you will see that he actually did. Laba was straight up spilling the beans. Like I said to one of my subscribers, I don't know if him either 
ready for dead or him just tired of living or him just say him old and don't care no more and all that he's 70 something years old so i'm good to have a next 30 years of life live so me don't know why i would have want dash it away like that if i dash it away he might dash it away but either way it would be in the best interest of anybody right now to keep lava lava alive as long as possible because you see now that this ant nest is stirred up again anything happened to lava right now being a man is going to be one to be looked at now i remember being saying specifically he must send a warning. He must tell Laba Laba Fe, be careful. Right? Just calling up people name like that, basically. Be careful. Now, what I mean by that, I don't know. But a lot of people have run with it and saying it is that warning. So, we wait to see how this one unfolds. All we know is that Boga gone. And it's ironic how he sat there and said something about unsolved mysteries. And him himself became an unsolved mystery. His death did anyway. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you think about this one, man. It's SoFlo TV. I'm out. I'm big up to Miss Awaki. Rest in peace.